Hey guys, it's Neil. Today I'm going to show you another tip. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add Google Street View to some of your Spotfire maps. Um, in this demo right here, uh, this is a simple routing demo where uh, I can kind of copy and paste a coordinate. I can put this in my end location and I'll hit calculate. And uh, this is using TIPCO's GeoAnalytic Builder. It's a web service. Um, so Spotfire will call that web service and it'll get the new uh, the route information and I'll put that right here for me as step-by-step -step directions. And I can kind of click through this and I can see how I move along each of these turns. Um, and what I've added here is a uh, Google Street View link. So um, it's really quite simple to do this. Um, you can add this, li uh, this link as a label and I can see where on my route I am. So all you need to do this is uh, to add a calculated column and you go to the data table where you have your latitude and longitude information. So um, here I'm just gonna insert the, the uh, expression because I already had it in my recent expressions. But what I wanna do is build a text, uh, build a URL that has this text as the base URL, and then it has a latitude, comma, and a longitude. So I use concatenate to put that all together um, one note here is you want to have several decimal points on your latitude and longitude, usually like five or six. If you only have like a couple decimal points, you might end up not exactly where you were looking. You, you might end up uh, not precisely uh, where the location you're interested in is. So, um, so, uh, so I've, I've built this URL. Um, I've actually already created something called Google Street View. So you know you can name it that Google Street View. Um, and uh, so it's not gonna let me do it because I already have it added, but that's what I did here. And once I have that, that column uh, added, that calculated column added, I just go to my properties and I go to my layers and on steps, um, which is my marker layer where that red dot is, um, I'm just gonna go to labels and I'm gonna take uh, Google Street View. You have to use an aggregation, but just use first. There will only be one label per latitude and longitude unless you have duplicates. And, in that case, it doesn't really matter here because it will have the same URL. But um, I just use first, so uh, it'll grab that URL, and um, I should say show this as a link. So rather than text, see if it's a text, you can't click it, I'll say show this as a link, and that's all I need to do. And you know, as this goes along, each of these uh, URLs change, I can click them and get the Google Street View for that location. So. Really pretty easy. Uh, hope this uh, really uh, empowers your analysis and join us next time. Thanks.